Hello everybody. There is a lot been going on here in Iceland the last few days. The intensity of the eruption has been steadily increasing and a lot of people have visited it to the point where it looks like a large festival. And now I have officially went there myself and it was almost unreal to look at a volcano here on Reykjaneskaya that might last for a few years. The area is so popular that a two kilometer long row of cars has formed and when I went there yesterday it was well over that and now our Coast Guard team has paved the shortest route to the location that you should be able to walk in an hour and a half, which is great. But it had to be changed today because the wind was blowing the gas towards the main trail. That trail is only a bit longer and it's claimed to be slightly more difficult, but that hasn't stopped people from visiting today. And on the name of the volcano? The mayor of Grindavík suggests that the inhabitants of Grindavík should decide on a name. Let's hope they choose something fitting. The gases have been analyzed more thoroughly, and it reveals that they are much more toxic and dangerous than expected. It's a rare mix of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, which is something we've never seen before, and there are more evidence pointing towards a long-lasting eruption. The magma flow has been measured to be around 5 to 6 cubic meters per second, which other eruption that lasted for more than 10 years around the world had, for example Hawaii. The possibility of another fissure opening was being talked about in the first few days, but now, as we are learning more about the volcano, it's becoming more unlikely that that will happen, at least in the near future. So Keltingadalir will be in the spotlight for the time being. If you've been watching the live camera feeds of the area, you've probably noticed that the crater that was originally small is now almost the same size as the big one. There were originally two smaller craters and a big crater, and it seems that the two smaller ones have merged to form this other big crater. You can see it in this time lapse. Maybe these will both end up merging together, forming one larger crater? We'll talk about that in tomorrow's livestream. But in the meantime, I recommend watching this awesome footage of the site taken from a drone. If you made it here to the end, that's awesome. If you enjoyed the video, you could consider giving it a like, but also hope to see you in the next video, or even in the livestream tomorrow. Thanks for watching.